This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Lakeshore Motors Limited, Chevrolet Buick and GMC of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. At Lakeshore Motors, they have a good selection of new Chevrolet vehicles, Buick and GMC vehicles, and a good selection of good quality pre-owned vehicles. To check out their full inventory, feel free to stop by at lakeshoremotorslimited.com. For additional information about Lakeshore Motors, check out the description below where you'll find information such as their address and their telephone number. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of this all new and refreshed 2023 Chevrolet Suburban High Country. This is wearing a Aaron Dyson Pearl Tri-Coat exterior with jet black and mocha leather interior. With Suburban logos, they're black right there and a black Chevrolet bow tie there. Black Suburban logos there and a black High Country logo there. So the tire sizes on the Suburban High Country are actually a 275, 50 or 22s, Bridgestone all season tires right over here. Let's just go step inside over here. The Suburban High Country does have remote start. We'll make sure the vehicle's locked and then we'll press this button over here. There you have it. So the all-new 2023 Chevrolet Suburban High Country does come equipped with a smart key system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket right there. I utilize the Chrome X set of touch buttons all four of the door handles to lock and unlock the vehicle. So if you want to lock, you just press this button once right there. And then have to wait a second, tap the button again. And it will unlock both doors. Just like that. So the all new Chevrolet Suburban High Country does have push button start located over here. If you want to start the vehicle, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior or the key fob is in your pocket. All you have to do is to simply apply your foot to the brake and push the push button ignition to start. And there you go. So I'll go close the door over here. Now, once you're inside the Suburban High Country, you get a nice four-spoke leather wrap steering wheel over here. This one does not have sport grips over here. It's a 10-speed automatic transmission with your push-button controls and manual shift ability down below. L, plus and minus buttons with simulated gears right there. You can see right there. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with adjustable guidance lines that will adjust as you turn the wheel. Just like that. And if you want to put it in park, just press right there. It does have climate controls located over here. It does have heated and cool seats over here. Where you can change the blower fan speed, change the temperature over here. It's kind of awesome. Down below over here, you got two USB ports. And as well as a 12 volt power outlet over here. And a wireless charger down below. And as we open this up, you get a nice little cubby storage down below. And then if I open this up right here, you just press right there and go like that. Another cubby storage right there also. And then if I push that, go like this, closes up. This particular Suburban High Country does have a touch screen along with a Bose sound system, Sirius XM satellite radio, AM FM radio, USB connection, Bluetooth streaming, Amazon Alexa, and as well as navigation, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto over here. So we'll tune. Over here. Here on the touch screen over here, we can go to home, access maps. It does have Google Maps right there. Back to home right there. Phone, cameras, where you can see all the different camera views. We got the front view camera, and then you press that right there. Rear view camera with guidance lines over here. And then we got this camera right there, which is the top camera over here, back and front right there. And then we got the side view camera right there. You can see the tires and wheels. You can see right there. That's the side view camera and trailer tail camera right there. 
and this one over here. You can change that. See the traffic right there? And we go click there. And then we got Play Store, Google Assistant, Help. Here are some things you can try. You can say, what is the high on Monday? Or, what's on my calendar tomorrow? It's actually kind of cool. And then we scroll right, right there. We got trailer lights, climate controls, where you can control the uh, climate controls right from the touch screen or down below. It does have rear climate over here, especially for a suburban high country model. Change your settings right there, my Chevrolet app, and Amazon Alexa, podcast, news, Wi-Fi hotspot, you name it. And if I press this, we got trailer light test right there. Driver information screen controls are located over here on the right side. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. We got navigation, scroll left, audio, and we got phone settings over here, info, we got, I'm going to scroll up there. We got digital speedometer, and we got trip one, trip two, timer, tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake pad life air filter life, blank page, info page options, your gap adjust button along with the uh, following distance indicator. Works well with following distance indicator. You can adjust the gap right there. It displays the gap time in seconds and depending on how close you're following a vehicle in front of you. And we got heated steering wheel right there, cruise control right there, activated by the switch right there. So as we come over here, we got a electronic parking brake switch. We just press that to engage it. Parking brake is set. And if you want to disengage the parking brake, put your foot on the brake and then just press it again. And now the parking brake is released. Lane keeping assist button right there. You can see on top there. And we got parking sensors, automatic start stop technology, which you can turn on and off if you like. That's actually a fuel saving feature. Traction off button right there. And we got hill decent control. And we got a camera 360 button over here, which you can press right there. You can see the different camera views right there. And we got the heads up display controls right there. I'll show that right now. Don't know if you can see that right there. If I press this button over here, that's the info button. So I'm gonna push this button over here so you can see. You compass, off-road status right there. And then you got this up and down button over here. You can just move the speedometer up or down. Dimmer switch. Your transfer case over here. And if you turn this knob over here, you can actually get four different drive modes, including normal, sport mode, and off-road mode, and tow haul mode that raises the shift points for better performance while towing. Normal mode right there. So as you scroll through all the different modes, you get all the different animations, sport mode, off-road and tow haul mode right there so we'll put it back to normal like that and one more thing i forgot to mention was this rear view mirror with your rear view camera over here and we push that down we can turn it off and we can see it right there and we push it back up and it turns the rear view camera back on so in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights and check that out as well hazards Automatic driver's side window right there. And we'll go check out the exterior, shall we? And also the interior will chime and it'll let you know if the proximity key fob has left the vehicle's interior. Exhaust pipes in the back right there. So let's go pop the front and check out that motor right over here. So the 2023 Suburban High Country does have a 6.2 liter overhead valve V8 producing 420 horsepower at 5600 RPM and 460 foot-pounds of torque at 4100 RPM. Okay. So we'll go shut it down.
and we'll go check out the back seat. Here on the back seat area, you get your nice little uh, cup holders right there, rear climate controls, and two USB ports for USB charging over here. And then we open this up, AC power outlet right there. Back seat area right there, also. So we'll go check out the cargo space. We're just gonna open the rear glass over here. If you wanna open it, you just press this button over here and it opens it just like that. It's all extra cargo space over here. We're gonna open the whole tailgate over here. So do the same thing, press this button twice. It'll just open the whole tailgate. It's powered. It does come with a uh, engine block heater cord right there, some sort of thing. And we got a another AC power outlet over here as well. And the back seats do fold down over here, left and right. It comes down just like that. And we'll do the same for the right side. And we'll just put them back up. You just press this top button up there. And we'll just put the headrest up. And we're for the left. just like that and we'll put this headrest up as well and if we open this up more storage right over here anyways we'll go and close the tailgate over here do the same thing press this button twice over here and we'll close it just like that just like that so let's go check out the passenger side over here. Same smart key system over here. Same on that side there. It does have high country logos over here on the door sill. The passenger and driver side right there. And the rear, rear occupants. High country logos there on the headrest. Now the Suburban High Country does have OnStar right there along with the OnStar emergency buttons, blue OnStar button and hands-free calling over here garage door opener right there doom lamps on top it's got sunroof right up there it does come with the owner's manual over here with your important safety information right there 2023 suburban and tahoe by chevrolet it's actually kind of nice to see something like this well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all-new 2023 Chevrolet Suburban High Country. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos just like this. And remember, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care, guys.